Mr. Ashish Matto. Ashish Matto is manager at Klima Veneta, Mitsubishi Electric Hydronics and IT Solution, and has nearly 10 years of professional experience in HVAC industry. Before his current role, Mr. Matto worked with Johnson's Controls and managed various portfolios, including the chiller businesses. Coming from engineering background, he possesses strong expertise in institutional sales. Today, Mr. Ashish will walk us through the impact of GWP refrigerants on sustainability in the chiller industry. Welcome, Mr. Ashish. Uh, talking about, you know, uh, GWP, uh, as I earlier said again, uh, when we talk about refrigerant, we have to move uh, when uh, from one refrigerant to another. There are a lot of aspects which, you know, uh, surround uh, that uh, uh, movement from one refrigerant to another. It has to be affordability. It has to be, you know, flammability. It has to be toxicity. Although every every panelist has already covered uh, almost everything which uh, we can, you know, talk about refrigerants. But these are the major, you know, uh, key factors which you know are given weightage when we talk about you know moving from one uh, refrigerant to another and particularly when we talk about india because uh, now if we see like the growing uh, the uh, growing percentage of our country the gdp percentage is very huge among uh, all other countries in the world so as a key uh, country in the world it's it's our uh, you know uh, responsibility if i talk about to you know uh, lead the world also because if you will see all the um, guidelines kigali agreement whatever uh, montreal protocol uh, whatever was you know has happened till date india was always in a league which which were uh, in those countries where uh, the transition will be in the last uh, first these were developing countries then other rest of the countries but india's you know role has always been in a diminishing point like we will be the one who will be you know moving or phasing out our refrigerants in the last. So this role, uh, we need to move ahead uh, in the world also in, in that respect. And again, uh, my, in terms of chillers, when I talk about this transition, uh, when we talk about uh, like mobile ACs, commercial refrigeration yeah, or small charge systems, uh, all the transition will happen from these, but there will be a 20% minimum, you know, uh, percentage where you know you, you you will be using your uh, refrigerants uh, that will be in a part of a you know stationary air conditioning uh, when i talk about like chillers and again talking about global warming the main culprit the gas which is main culprit in global warming if i talk about as per the table it's co2 uh, followed by uh, methane and then followed by nitrous oxide and then other refrigerants so moving towards lower gwp is a great uh, you know cause to our environment parallelly we need to you know make those refrigerants which parallelly are also very efficient so that our indirect uh, you know cost uh, or you know increase in co2 emissions in terms of indirect like power supply like for example you to generate power you need to burn coal and other non renewable uh, resources your power consumption you know reduces so that your twi which i had all earlier mentioned again you know it also you know becomes constant or it, it, it reduces and your uh, overall impact in in a global way you know your uh, global warming uh, issue is addressed in a you know in a uh, great way and uh, i was reading one article also in terms of chiller when i talk about you know uh, when you improve your chiller's efficiency by 1% you offset 60% of the potential lifetime emissions uh, which is associated with that chiller. And if I improve by 1.5% improvement in the chiller efficiency, it offsets 100% you know, complete direct emission, whichever is associated with that chiller. So, uh, yeah, refrigerants, definitely we need to work out on that. And parallelly, uh, efficiencies also uh, are to be, you know, catered because of that. But we see generally is like, for example, uh, moving from R134A to other refrigerants, which are 1233ZD and other refrigerants, we are seeing, we, uh, we are losing tonnages. Uh, we are losing a bit of efficiencies also. Uh, we have to, you know, uh, make bigger uh, heat, uh, heat transfer, uh, heat exchangers to you know deliver same tonnages or the cops so in in one way we are you know uh, reducing our gwp we are definitely helping to reduce our carbon footprint but again in other way we are increasing the uh, like you know reducing the efficiencies and increasing our uh, footprint of the chiller and indirect way we are you know consuming more power so uh, both the aspects are to be taken together and uh, this is what i feel um, it has to be an inclusive growth rather than, uh, you know, thinking on one topic only like GWP is to be reduced. That's our only motto. Our main motto is 
global warming to be you know it should be mitigated and all the direct and indirect uh, you know effects which are associated with chiller industry or any other industries these to be you know should be taken care of that's it uh, from my side thank you